a harbinger of terror. We entered hostile territory, taking the battle to IS with Kurdish Peshmerga fighters. This was their second attempt to free the village of Fazlia. Last week they faced heavy resistance. Along the way, tension building as we start to come under fire and to respond. Well, we're moving forward now very slowly and carefully. We're hearing quite a bit of outgoing fire. The troops are trying to gauge how much resistance is in these villages. This was the answer. A massive roadside bomb just ahead. It was one of four on our route. Then the Peshmerga moved to confront a suspected suicide bomber. They have to check him for explosives with their bare hands. This time they were lucky, just a civilian. We arrive in what looks like a deserted village. Locals start to emerge, tentatively, to offer thanks. But soon, this. Thank you. Warning you. shots from wary troops. At last, freedom and relief. There's nothing to worry about, he says. It's all over. But there's a legacy of torment. They destroyed us, says Mohammed. They completely destroyed us. There was a sense of a community coming back to life, of old friends reuniting, freed from the tyranny of IS. A moment of victory for the Peshmerga and for some here, of rebirth. I can't find words to express how happy I am, says Halad. It feels like I have been born again. Nearby, locals attacked an IS sign that had loomed over them, instructing women to cover themselves from head to toe. Amar was happy to be wearing her best and not wearing a hijab. As this woman thanks the Peshmerga, IS make their presence felt, not far away. Helping to secure the village, Alan Duncan, a volunteer sniper from Scotland. He's fought with the Peshmerga since 2014 and has been part of the recent push against IS or Daesh. It's kind of funny because places that are weak, places they'll stand and fight, um, they're very up and down, you know. But you're talking a lot of these people to cheer in the night were probably Dash. They're just going back in their community. So they haven't gone away. Even as they celebrate, the troops know their enemy could soon re emerge. Well, the Peshmerga are now moving through the village, they're securing the area street by street. And more and more civilians are appearing. They can speak freely for the first time in over two years. But there is still some tension here. The fighters are concerned that among those coming out onto the streets, there could be suicide bombers. But there were no threats concealed among the villagers. They were savouring the chance to reclaim old pleasures banned by the jihadis. The black flag of IS has been pulled down from the mosque, the Peshmerga vowing that never again will it be allowed to fly here. Orla Giran, BBC News, Fazlia.